Hi, in this packet tracer, we will configure static NAT, uh, NAT network address translation. Here's our topology. We have two devices on the internet and a server inside a LAN network of a corporate. And you know that in IPv4 configured network, clients and servers use private addressing. And here's a private addressing. Before packets with private addressing can cross the internet, they need to be translated to public addressing. Servers that are accessed from outside the organization are usually assigned both public and a private static IP address. And here we have the inside address, the private address, and the outside is a public. IP address. So in this activity, we will configure static NAT so that outside devices can access an inside server at its public address. Now, on part one, we will test access without NAT. I can ping from so uh, on uh, from laptop one to the server, and it's failed. PC1 to server is failed too because we will examine the router one, the routing table. So show run and we filter include new NAT. So there's no NAT configuration on router one. So PC1 and uh, laptop one cannot access to the server and another show is show IP NAT translation there's no NAT translation on router one so for the devices on the internet can access server one we will configure NAT now on step 1, we will configure static NAT statement and this statement will map the server 1 inside address to its outside address. Here the inside and this the outside. The outside address you should uh, run from the ISP. So now I enter this command to router 1. So we will config. IP NAT inside with the source and the tire of NAT is static. The inside and the outside IP address. And you can see router 1 had two interface uh, are running the serial interface and the gigabit uh, interface. So we will configure the interface gigabit is the inside NAT IP NAT inside and for the serial interface we will configure it with the outside IP NAT outside IP NAT outside so the IP NAT inside and IP NAT outside means when the packet travels from the devices on the internet to the serial interface. So router one will translate it to the inside IP address and in the reverse way when the packet travels from server one to the internet so when it comes to uh, the inside interface so it will translate to the outside uh, IP address now I test by ping from laptop one to the server it's failed for the first packet second one it's failed okay so the okay from the PC one 
it's failed too. So maybe we can check for the configuration inside and not outside. Okay, and we can check for this one, the IP address. We should ping the public IP address. So I will use ping. Uh, it's successful and from PC1 I pin to it's successful so I can test access the web uh, on the server one right. It's successful. Next, we will uh, verify the NAT translation on router one by using the command show IP NAT statistic. And here we have nine translations: one static and eight dynamic. The outside, the inside. And we another so I be not translation for more detail. The, we have ICMP. Uh, it's failed because we use uh, the inside. Uh, sorry, uh, it, the inside global here. We can ping inside local. And here is the uh, outside global, inside local, and inside global, okay. And uh, this is a port. Another command is show run. We scroll down to uh, here. IP not inside source. So that is all for this activity guide. Thanks for watching.